So hello and welcome back to the new video of the JNU tutorial series. So today in this video we will be talking about how we can install or how we can set up our environment uh, for the VS, uh, Visual, VS code that is Visual Studio code. Uh, how we can uh, install the ID and how we can uh, set up our IDE for uh, using the JUnit and we can test our test cases right. So let's get started. Uh, I will open up my new tab and I will write uh, download Visual Studio. Visual Studio Code and I will hit enter and after here uh, for very first uh, link came up uh, which is officially from Visual Studio Code I will just click on that and according to your uh, operating system you can download your uh, own version and I will uh, I will generally prefer if you are using the windows just click on the user installer x64 uh, or in, uh, whatever version that you are using and your installation will uh, downloading will get started and setup will get installed okay so already i have already uh, downloaded and installed that setup you just you need to click on next 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 and your setup will get installed and video studio will get installed in your pc right so after installation just you need to uh, come here near start and just write vs uh, and just hit enter video studio code will get open uh, i have some previous project open up over here uh, uh, but for you if you're using for you using it for the first time uh, you, you could have seen uh, this window this window you, you have seen okay so uh, after seeing this video you, uh, window just you need to click on the open folder and here uh, uh, you can choose whatever path you can you like and just you need to click on the new folder and you, uh, you create uh, any folder where you want to uh, save your project right select folder the ID will uh, re restart and uh, your folder will be seen over here. Okay, so in order to set up this IDE for using the JUnit, you need you need to install one extension. That is, uh, if you come over here inside the extension tab, just come here and just type uh, extension uh, pack. And very first extension that you can see extension pack for java you need to install that okay for me i have already installed that's why i'm seeing disable and uninstall button uh, for you if you are using it for the first time you could have seen install button just click on that install button it will take some time and uh, according to your internet speed it will uh, download that extension pack uh, for java and it will install after installing this extension pack you need to go uh, inside your uh, for explorer and you need to create your uh, first uh, java file so for this demonstration i will be uh, creating one new file that will uh, name it as greet uh, dot java okay so this is my java file okay uh, let me increase the font size and uh, over here i will just write uh, i will just create my public class public class greet okay uh, and inside this class i will create my uh, own method public string says let me call it as says and this method will uh, return a string and then okay so this is what it returns okay so to test this method using junit i will create one more uh, class which says uh, greet test dot java okay and uh, okay so over here you can see uh, now if you have uh, if you are watching our previous video you have uh, you could have known that uh, if you are writing the test cases that you, then in that case uh, you have to write at test annotations and what are what is annotation that we have also discussed in our previous videos so go check out that videos okay so we will write public uh, uh, void so let me call, call it as a uh, test test is my method name and inside this method i will create a new object of this grid class new grid and uh, here uh, using uh, assertion assert method uh, now you can see i am not getting the 
prompts from the uh, VS code uh, VS code IDE for the auto completion that's because I have not uh, tell the VS code that uh, I am using a J unit over here for to tell that I, we are using the J unit I over here also you can see test cannot be resolved to a type Java because this is a type of uh, J unit okay so we will uh, go inside testing tab over here you can see and you can uh, click on the enable Java test and uh, J uh, over here uh, you have three options J unit Jupiter uh, which is J, J unit 5 and J unit that is J unit 4 and test NG uh, so in this case uh, we will be using uh, J unit Jupiter just click on that and it will install these jar files that are required for you to in, uh, get ready and start using uh, J unit inside your project right so uh, give some time uh, let it install all these jar files and you can see test libraries have been downloaded into lib okay so now you can go inside your explorer you can see new folder has been created by the name of lib and inside which uh, jar file is there okay so now uh, we can go inside over here and here we what we can do is we can import that okay import uh, dot start as soon as i uh, import this um, uh, write this import statement that uh, error that is there uh, on test uh, has gone and now what we can do is uh, we can use the assert assert class assert class dot assert equals okay so uh, my expected output uh, should be something hello and uh, what I am getting is gree dot uh, says because says is my uh, method name that I am uh, writing over here and it is returning hello string and we are matching it with hello so this test case should get passed we will click on that test and you can see a uh, green tick is there that means our test case is getting passed uh, so let me just uh, give one uh, uh, typo here and it is this test case should get failed now okay so you can see over here it says expected hell hello but it was hello okay so th uh, this is how your test case you can uh, run your test cases and you can uh, test your test, uh, test cases inside in uh, visual studio code okay so this is how you can set up your environment for the visual studio code so thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one